Hey guys, it's Nelson with Galaxy Note 2 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to review an application called Cover, which is a relatively new lock screen application for Android. Um, I've we've covered a few um, lock screen applications. Um, what sets this one apart from all the rest? It, this is actually personally my favorite cover screen now. I mean, uh, lock screen. But I, what sets it apart is its speed and efficiency, and just how well it meshes with the TouchWiz uh, interface. Um, it just, you know, instead of just seeming like a third-party application, it just it's well integrated and um, it seems more of an extension of your device's actual OS. So, uh, you can find it for free on the Play Store. It's called Cover. So I'm going to open it up. And, whoops, why did it close? Okay. So here, um, this is what the lock screen will look like. You can go up here and go to settings. Okay, so uh, it's now using cover as lock screen whenever you open it, it does that. So from here you can go through four different directions, I mean save locations, which will work as profiles. Because what this uh, lock screen does is it intelligently learns from from your habits and it'll create, um, it'll create a list of applications on the left hand side of which applications you use the most and in what locations you use them. So uh, here you can enter um, your home address. Um, you can choose a wireless network. You can do the same thing with your work. With car, you can use Bluetooth settings so it can know when you're connected to the car. And you can also do out. So that's whenever you're not in any of the other three locations. And what the application will do is well, it will use GPS to figure out where you are. And it'll choose one of those four profiles. Uh, okay, now we'll go to the actual profiles. And this is the said lock screen. Um, here uh, I'm currently at work, so it's, it realizes that I'm at work. You can actually manually change them to all of them, and I'll show you that. Uh, here are the applications that I use the most at work. So you can see Instagram and Twitter, because I'm procrastinating or something. Um, a cool feature is called Peek. So what you do is you hold down whichever application you want to peek into, and then just drag over, and you'll see that um, it'll be the application that you're holding on to. Same thing with Twitter. Hold it, and it's, you know, it's so quick, it's so responsive. That's what makes it one of the best lock screens out there. It's just ridiculously fast. I can do the same thing with Exposed here. And it's just, in, it's just insanely quick. Um, that's for work. You, yeah, like I said, again, you can manually go, you can go to home. And what changes are the um, these icons, they change because it depends on which uh, application to use and in what location. And also the background changes. And you can manually change that if you tap here on wallpapers. You can choose uh, what you want for home. You can choose home at night because um, it also changes. Um, if you want, you can set a, <clears throat> a timer for when it will turn into night. And it'll also figure out um, intelligently which application to use at night, and it'll have them set. And you can only do that for at home and at, <clears throat> for only at home, actually. And uh, here you can go change, change your work um, wallpaper, your car wallpaper, and being at wallpaper. And you can also actually add your own custom <clears throat> your own custom wallpaper to it. And uh, if you go back, um, one of the other settings that I want to go through is um, let's see, go to settings and we can go to preferences and here um, this is a another useful feature with it what this does is it brings up a tray of applications anywhere on the device Exclu um, it's not exclusive to the lock screen and here up here you'll see that little um, the block um, that you can change it's a tap area you can change it to be smaller bigger I'll put it to the biggest and it'll be on the right hand side so what this does is anywhere on the application that you are, let's say I'm on Instagram, I just hold down and you'll see the tray of applications that I've used most recently. And you hold down and you go and you let go over which application you want to open and it opens it up just like that. So that's useful um, in case you, there's other applications that do just that. But this is cool because it's integrated with the lock screen already. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Uh, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy Note 2 Soft Modder. Alright, thanks.